Here's Dr. Rackett. The language is set to intermediate student with lambda. And we're going to require picturing programs so that we can work with images a bit, among other things. Control R reads in the definitions. Control D gives us real estate just for interactions. Here's an image to mess around with. First, let's figure out how many pixels wide this image is. We get at that using image width. So there's two 69 glowing dots across here. The image height is a little bit less. Here's how we get just some of the image. We can crop 100 pixels off the top. Or we can crop 100 pixels off the left. You can also crop numbers. E is a number that mathematicians like. It's approximately 2.7 something. That hash sign means, hash i means it's an inexact number. We can convert it into an exact number, so it, we know it's not an approximation, using inexact to exact. We can also round it down to the nearest integer, the floor of e. And again, we can make that quantity exact if we need it to be exact. Recall that we can view a decimal as an improper fraction. However, pointing and clicking with a mouse isn't always that convenient. We can get at the numerator and denominator separately using function numerator and a function denominator. For the skeptical among you, we can reconstitute the numerator and denominator and get negative 2.55 back. We can pull pieces out of strings of characters. So I'm using the characters that are numerals here to make it clear what pieces I'm pulling out. I'm pulling out piece 3 to 6. So that's from position 3, counting from 0, to just before position 6. Same thing works with other characters. So here's a, some alphabetic characters. I'm going to pull out position 3 to position 6. And it's the corresponding characters of this string. 